So for this problem, what they're asking us to do is to um, rationalize with imaginary numbers. So the main thing when we're looking at this, ladies and gentlemen, is I want you guys to kind of understand what we've talked about with imaginary numbers. So in Kevin, when we're dealing with imaginary numbers, we said that I represent the square root of negative 1. And we don't know the square root of negative 1 in our real number system. So we designate it with i, which is going to be in our imaginary number system. So right now, we don't have, like we said, it's in our imaginary number system. It's not in our real number system. So if I take a real number and I divide it by i, we can't divide it by, not, these are not in the, like, the same, you can't divide it by i because we don't have that in the real number system to divide it into. Does that kind of make sense? So what we want to do is we want to get rid of dividing by i because i, remember dividing says how many times is i going to go into 8? Well, since i is in your imaginary number system, we don't want to divide by, divide um, 8 by i. So what we're going to do is we're going to get i off the denominator. So to get it off the denominator, that means we're going to reduce, um, have it not being divided. To get it off the denominator, what we're going to do is called rationalizing the denominator. To rationalize the denominator for imaginary numbers, if I multiply by i on the top and the bottom, let's see what happens. All right? Now remember, you can multiply i on the top and the bottom because look at this. What if I did um, 1 half? If you take the fraction 1 half and then you multiply it by 2 on the top and the bottom, you get 2 over 4. Is 2 over 4 equivalent to 1 half? Yes. So as long as you multiply the same number on the top and the bottom, you're not changing the problem or the fraction. So I'm going to multiply by i over i. Let's see what we get. So I put parentheses around here. So therefore, I'm going to have negative i plus 8i squared over negative i squared. Right? Just do multiplication just like you're doing uh, variables. However, when we talked about i representing negative square root of negative 1, remember the next thing we said, i squared represented negative 1. So therefore, what I can do now is substitute in negative 1 in for i. And when, it, when doing that, I get negative i minus 8 divided by 1. Rewrite the whole problem. I have negative 8 minus i. And that's going to be my final simplified answer. OK? And then this is in complex form, which we talked about how to write our problems in, you know, in, as a complex number, correct? So we talked about how to write in a complex number. That is our preferred method rather than writing it as a complex number divided by an imaginary number all right, or another complex number. All right? That's all you guys got to do. Does that kind of make sense?